in regards to Atik Ahmed, now the Supreme Court has pulled up Uttar Pradesh government and asked as to why Atik and Ashraf were paraded before the media. Why were they not taken to the gate of the hospital via the ambulance that was required as uh, an SOP? The Supreme Court has also directed the Uttar Pradesh government to file a comprehensive affidavit indicating the steps taken to inquire into the killings that happened on the 15th of April. My colleague Ananya has brought us those details, uh, is joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Ananya, there was so much that was said after this uh, killing of Atik and Ashraf was caught on live television cameras. And this was the very question that was raised by many. Now, the Supreme Court has asked the UP government to answer the app options now before the Uttar Pradesh uh, administration. What would they be? Well, definitely the hearing began with Mr. Vishal Tiwari, who was the petitioner uh, in person in this particular case, uh, putting forth a submission that, you know, this encounter, uh, this uh, killing has taken place and various other encounters have taken place in the state of Uttar Pradesh and uh, investigation, an independent committee headed by a former Supreme Court judge should actually come in and uh, uh, inquire into this particular incident. However, the Supreme Court, while only looking at the Atik uh, and Ashraf's killing, uh, clearly questions the Uttar Pradesh government as to whether, uh, uh, why uh, they were actually paraded to the hospital gate and why were not uh, why were they not taken directly to the hospital gate via an ambulance uh, is the question that uh, in fact the Uttar, um, the, the Uttar Pradesh government was asked senior advocate Mukul Ruhadki was representing the Uttar Pradesh government has clear answers that you know uh, uh, these people were involved in heinous crimes and uh, uh, he also opposed uh, a notice being issued in the petition so the Supreme Court uh, asked them to actually file a comprehensive affidavit including uh, uh, a status report with regards to the investigation into this particular case the UP government also also informed the court that there is a judicial commission that has been appointed into this particular case headed by a former judge of the Allahabad High Court. Remember that a three-member committee headed by uh, a, a former Allahabad High Court judge uh, along with one district uh, former district judge and uh, uh, various other officials have been formed by the Uttar Pradesh government to actually uh, inquire into this particular killing that had happened in the uh, state of Uttar Pradesh, the Prayagra district of the state of Uttar Pradesh, in fact. Uh, and now, after three weeks, the UP government has to come in with its response Okay. Clearly, uh, indicating as to what had happened, what was the timeline of events, and also the clear question of the court as to why were they paraded, it mm. would also be answered in that particular affidavit. But definitely, this is something uh, the Supreme Court actually go went and pulled up the Uttar Pradesh government for. So, Ananya, uh, you were saying that, that uh, the Uttar in, Pradesh in the government has three weeks' time to respond to what the court has just asked them to do. Is there going to be any mention of the three people who are now accused of killing Atik and Ashraf? Because their statements too, as per uh, the various committees and the various uh, investigations that are currently on, that, that too are not adding up when, it's, when it comes to what really brought these three people who are um, not really history sheeters together to execute this uh, heinous crime. Well, definitely all of this would be mentioned in the comprehensive affidavit. Each and every detail of the particular investigation that has taken place so far in the particular in this particular killing uh, of Atik and Ashraf. Remember that the UP government also stated before the court that, you know, uh, these three people have been nabbed who were uh, 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 the assassins of Atik Ahmed and his brother Ashraf. And it was also stated by the Uttar Pradesh government that uh, even Atik Ahmed was not somebody who is, who is a very clean-sheeted man. He was somebody who was a history sheeter having uh, crimes like like kidnapping murders on his name and was being taken for a medical examination in a routine manner as per the direction of the Supreme Court because remember um, in various judgments the Supreme Court has held that every accused who is in uh, police or judicial custody shall be uh, medically examined within 24 to 48 hours and that's what uh, was being done it was a routine that was being followed and these people in fact and in Mr. Rohati also mentioned that these people wrecked the area for almost three days and only after that they actually executed this particular killing now what would the UP government be telling? What were, what will be the investigation details that would be detailed down by the Uttar okay. Pradesh government in this particular affidavit that would come up after three weeks or something? That is a matter of time Absolutely. we'll get to know. But definitely, this would be a very, very crucial document that will be given to the top post court of the country. Thank yeah. you so much for that.